Hey everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today I wanted to do a flip through of my A6. This has been my everyday carry, my everything, just everything. As you can see, I can't close her. Um, I did, I was showing these new tabs that I had made on Instagram and I had got a request. You guys have requested me to do an A6, uh, A6 flip through. I had did one and I lost the video. So here's a new one updated anyway. Um, I do change some things out kind of bi-weekly, monthly, um, especially to try to keep her as slim as possible. But sometimes it's just, um, I can't. So anyway, this planner came from AliExpress. It is the Yiwi brand. This is what she's looking like now. I will definitely go through all the details. I'll try to list most things at the bottom, of the, but if I don't, if there is a question about anything that you see in here that you would like more information on, as long as I can remember, I have the website, um, feel free to hit me up and I will definitely let you know. So first up, it comes with this side pocket here, secretarial pocket. And I just have some task cards in here that I use from time to time. If I don't want to write out my zones, I have my zones written in another planner so I know what they are. Um, I have this fake $1 million bill along with some tabs. They just stuck. Um, this is just kind of a manifestation, a dollar for me. Um, and then progress, not perfection by cloth and paper. And it probably came in a sub box because I don't think they sell those. I think that's just, they come with the boxes. I'm kind of going to try to be as quick as possible, so I'm going to put that back. And then over here, um, this card, I believe, came from, ooh, I don't know, but I know this one came from Wildly Noted. Um, I can tell you, hold on. Yeah, Peach Palm. This one came from Peach Palm. And I just have them secured by a paper clip, which came from um, Kubo and Lucy. And then in here, I just have a gold card. I know it's just very random, <clears throat> but this is just some of the goals that I'd like to achieve. Almost also like a manifestation. And I just keep it there. I had watched the video once and the man said he has a gold card and he just rubs it because he knows what's on the card. So he keeps it in his pocket and he rub it. So every now and then I'll just come through and rub it. Anyway, on the zip pocket here, I was using this as a wallet. So I have a receipt in here. I have some change and some of the mini um, stickers that came from um, cloth and paper. I think these were like uh, in a subscription box, more than likely. And I'm holding on to that receipt because I have like 30 days to return something. So next up, this dashboard, I totally forgot I had it. I just recently stuck it in. It is from Rose Shadow Collection. Um, yeah, so I bought that separately. Okay, so here's my inbox. I have a little sticky note here. It was flooded at one time, so I've just recently gone through and kind of took some of those things out. And then I have this inbox dashboard, which I made myself. I was thinking about selling them, but I just feel like everybody makes their own inboxes or everybody has an inbox, you know, that they like. And then I have sticky notes on the back of here. Um, then this is the parking lot of ideas. This is a insert that is in my shop that is a download. Um, what I like to, let me break this down just a little bit. Um, what you'll do is here, it says reserve for, like a reserve parking space. So you'll park your idea here, your name, the idea, and then you just list or write whatever the idea is, the things that's on that idea. And it is front and back. As you can see, I've put some, you know, ideas there. I just had the idea one day and like pictured it in my mind. I just made an insert. So that's how that came about. Um, next up, I have this Ollie clip from Cloth and Paper and Ollie clip um, collab. This came from Rose Shadow Collection. It came with, I think, one of her uh, sticker kits. <clears throat> and then this Vibrate Higher card is in my shop. It's a collection of like three. And then this yearly overview calendar I made and I just made it. And this is from Planet Girls Rock, which is United Creations on Etsy. This is a task delegation. Lord, I feel like I'm going to be all day, y'all. So I'm going to try to get through this cloth and paper. 
and this is my master grocery list i made it so i'll tell you what i'm gonna do if there's anything in here that you see and you want to know and if i don't tell you exactly what it is just let me know in the comment section because this will take about 45 minutes to do page for page but anyway this is a master grocery list that i made and then it's like a running grocery list on the back this is my salon section. Um, for those who don't know who are new, I'm a hairstylist, freelance hairstylist. Been a hairstylist about 29 years. So I was using online um, scheduling. So during the pandemic, I switched back to paper. And so here it is. And then I just have an Ollie clip holding me to the day. <clears throat> As you can see, it's not a lot going on. And so that's that. So next up we have weekly. And I named this weekly because there's monthly and weekly in here. This is just the inserts I got from Cloth and Paper. This is Rose Shadow Collection. And so I try to keep at least two months at a time in. That way I can kind of pre-plan a little bit. If there's something coming up, I can kind of pre-plan. I used to keep the full year in there, but of course I just can't with this um, planner. So as big as thick as it is so next we have my meals and then this dashboard is from bro shadow collection as well as you'll, you'll see a lot of hers and probably mine and a glittery life i just love the quality of both of theirs along with mine and then i just have some more sticker notes just in case i need to you know write some things down and this is my meal so i've created this meal planner which will probably be released this weekend um, not certain I'm still testing it out but that's that and this is from my shop so next up we have daily so I just put these little small sticker notes here because sometimes I want to write a inspirational note to myself so I can just pull it from here <clears throat> And I'm going to flip through my dailies. I'll just kind of flip through. Um, now, I know this is from January. Now, I do take these out roughly kind of every two weeks. So, I just held on to this one from the inauguration. Um, I'm kind of minimal functional planner. But every now and then, I get a little sticker happy. And I actually liked this one for that particular day. So, I just leave it. It's just, I just leave it. So that's why that's there. And then these are just my dailies. But I can typically leave um, a month. I try to have at least a month worth of dailies in my planner. But I'm finding that I really like minimal planning the best. I get more done that way. So that's daily. And now we're going to my health. Um, there's not a lot in here because I'm going to fill in this section, at least try to. It's going to be like my sleep pattern, my sleep habits, things like that. Um, you just have a workout schedule here. Um, it was just a kind of rough draft so that I can take it and put it into the weeklies and the dailies. And this is from Anika's Creative Closet. And this little rose paper clip is from Kubo and Lucy. So next up is Habits. Me slide over so that's habits and because i love habit tracking i don't know why this is from a glittery life plans um i love habit tracking so i have you know just habits and I only keep like one or two sheets in here because some weeks i just totally forget to fill it out so it's not a lot and this is another dashboard from a glittery life plans and this is some black note paper. And this is my finances. <laughs> and this is from Wildly Noted. And this is a die cut I made last year. And then this is kind of like my vision board. Spending tracker. This is my key to like cross things out. But um, I haven't. And then these are orders, which I need to like catch up, but it's too late. Some stuff has already come. And then my weekly check-in. You guys usually do weekly check-in with me. So this is for this week. I kind of did it on my own. Matter of fact, I need to highlight that. And this card is from Wildly Noted. 
Next up is business, which is kind of empty right now because I'm just gonna take some things for my business. I'm basically gonna use this um, here to plan um, content that I can kind of quickly go to when I'm upstairs instead of having my business planner. So that's that. So that's the only thing in business at this moment. This is from Poi and Hun. And the next section is home. I made this dashboard myself. And I'm gonna put in like projects I'm doing in the home, things like that. So I only need one page for that. And this again is by Planner Girls Rock. And this little sticky note is by Jen Plans on Etsy. And then so here's cleaning. So I'm kind of working on that. I'm still figuring that out. And then next up is notes. This is the note section. And this is from, I can never remember her name. Um, if you ask me, you really want to know how I can get it together by the time you ask me. And then this is like a little running grocery list here, another grocery list. Um, this, this is like brain dump, but I say notes, but like brain dumps and things like that. As you can see, I got like a grocery list here. And I'm putting meals together for next week, so I use that. These stickers are by Anika over in Anika's Creative Closet. And I think that's it. That is it in notes. And then here, just with a little tiny Ollie clip, I'm holding a clear card. And um, this minimalist card from Wildly Noted. <sighs> this is where it gets interesting because I have some stuff I just probably shouldn't have in here. But these I make and I have in my shop. These I call like I think total boxes. I love these because as you all can see on um, this is what I use them for like to get my totals for the day. I, I don't know why I just like to put my totals down you know for the day or for the week. You know you can use them in your you can also use them like as to reference a bill due or whatever or how much you may have to pay someone. I don't know, but I like to use those for that. And these, I'm not for sure that they were in my shop. They may still be there, so they're kind of old, but I like to use those. And then these are some tiny little um, icon stickers that I had with some old kits, but I'm thinking of bringing these back. The only thing they're in a circle, so I want to kind of have them um, and you know, without the circle, but keep them small because I like them the size because I'm gonna show you, I can use them in my daily. So I printed some more, but like here, here they are right here. See how small they are and they, uh -oh. see how small they are and they fit on a line like that's one too that's grocery and they just fit on a line but they're in a circle and so i printed them on transparent paper so i'm thinking they may just come on transparent paper and then i had some credit card uh, stickers car, car icons money icons all of this is from my shop so that's why i'm just kind of running through it and these i made for myself <clears throat> These, um, I've thought about adding to the shop. They may be in the shop. I don't know. Um, I haven't checked to see yet, but um, I love total stuff. So I love half circles. So I made these to like put totals down like for the day or, you know, pretty much. Uh, these are from Sweet Caress. Um, these are some script I made for myself. These are from Planner Aesthetic, another one of my favorite shops. And then these um, Ibiza drops and mink dots are from cloth and paper. And that's really it. And I have to remind myself to use the dots from cloth and paper and stuff, but I mainly use these total things here, okay? And then uh, next up in these little pockets, which I'm gonna be honest, I hardly go through, they're AM cards. And there, I think it's a PM up here. And then I have this minimalism, and that's from cloth and paper. And then this came with my order from Jen Plans, and I just loved it. So I just stuck it in there. And then here are the PM cards, which I plan to use, but I just have it. And these are from cloth and paper. And then I love these because these are from cloth and paper. I don't think they sell these anymore, um, but I had ordered some. These I think I ordered, but I don't think they 
um, still have them. Hold on. No. But it's good to make a little note. If you don't really have a lot planned for that day, you can just, you know, highlight the month, highlight the date, and then your, like, top four things. I wish they'll bring these back. And then you can put the date. So I wish they'll bring these back because I really like these. So I'm kind of hoarding them and holding on to them. And then this is a card from Wildly Noted, Protect Your Space. That is it. And then I have a pocket back here. And I just have a few other little stickers back here. Um, these are from my shop. These are from my shop. And these are from A Glittery Life Plans. As you can see, I used those, so I was kind of hoarding those. And these are old stickers from my shop. Um, they no longer come like this. Peach Palm. So whenever I want a little deco in my planner, that's why I keep these in here. And these are some of my favorite like um, deco stickers. This is my absolute favorite deco design. <laughs> every time I buy a couple of from Peach Palm, but every time I see someone with it, I purchase it. But Peach Palm seems to have the best. And these are from A Glittery Life. And these are for the phone, but I still got them. As you can see, I used one. And then I keep these A Glittery Life as well, because I was using these a lot. And then these are from my shop, and they're just month scripts which I think they've changed, the color on it's changed. And then I have these little functional dots. They're like circles and you can just check they're transparent. Um, matter of fact, I think I'll be bringing these to the shop again. They were there, I think I took them out. And then these are some stickers I just made for myself, some business stickers. And that's that. That's all that I have in this planner. So, it wasn't too long. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's flip through of my A6. I finally did it. Finally got it up. But, um, as I was showing uh, my Instagram friends, I was just changing these tabs. I ordered some more. I originally had six dividers. So, I ordered another set so that I would have 12 because I wanted to... Um, separate everything in my planner so that it would um, I can go right to it instead of wondering where it was because I had some things that just wasn't you know in the right place now well I the next time you see it it'll probably be changed again I just put these um, dashboards in so I probably won't be taking those out anytime soon I want to try to figure out something for my schedule but I need at least three weeks up and through here maybe a month so i need those um, i need that so right now i'm pleased with it even though i can't um like close it i'm still pleased with it it still goes with me i can put it in my purse in my bag and like now that i've shown y'all this i'll probably take out um except for this page i'll probably just take these out because that time has passed and I'll just leave this one. So that'll kind of debulk it a little bit. And then, like now, I'll need to print some more um, dailies. So, so now, well, I still can't close it. So that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You enjoyed the flip through. If there's anything you have questions about. Oh, I'm sorry. My dangles. Most of these are from Kubo and Lucy. It is like probably the only place that I get... I've gotten others, but most of these I know um, are from Kubo and Lucy. I make my own sometimes, but I think all of these are hers. Um, I do purchase from other people, so I will switch them out um, depending on the time of the year. I have one or two there, but mainly these are Kubo and Lucy. And then I'll switch again, like I said, um, depending on the time of the year, I'll switch into some other ones, but that's that. So I hope again that you all enjoyed today's flip through of my A6. Again, if you have any questions, do me a favor, leave those in the comment section, and I will be happy to answer your questions. If today was your first time watching any of my content and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and I would love to welcome you to the Cove, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!